What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Brock Talk Show. I'm your host, Mason the Brock Henderson, and today we're going to talk about something that hits really close to home for me. Because I review TV shows, commercials are a big, big part of my life. And, frankly, they're a big part of everybody's lives. A lot of people only watch the Super Bowl just to see what new commercials they've got. And, to be fair, the Super Bowl does have a lot of clever new commercials. Whereas, most of the commercials we watch on a daily basis get old, they get monotonous. Why are we watching this again? But today... I'm going to address commercials and why they've gone so bad. I think one of the best examples I can think of right now of why commercials are going so bad, it's the day after Thanksgiving. What is probably one of the most annoying commercials before this? Christmas commercials. Now, you may have your own opinion on Christmas and Thanksgiving, but in my opinion, we need to celebrate Thanksgiving because, one, food, two, family time together, which hardly ever get, and three, celebrates the pilgrims coming over to America looking for freedom of religion. They were being oppressed by a king who wanted them to pay and just to go to church and it's important people <laughs> like if they did not come over we would not be here today and we just kind of ignore that but the thing is most of the time I can stay away from all of that stuff you know there's there's always that uh, all the all the stores are putting out their Christmas stuff they're setting up Christmas decorations selling Christmas decorations I can stay away from that stuff because generally I don't go out much. I don't go shopping much either. So I don't see all that stuff. But I watch a lot of TV. So I see a lot of these Christmas commercials two weeks before Thanksgiving even starts. And I, it's frustrating to watch. And so that's, prob that's probably the, the lowest on the list of bad commercials just because it happens once a year. The rest of these commercials happen a lot. Now, you may be wondering what is your opinion of a good commercial. I think if it's if it's clever or if it's a good funny, not the type of funny that's funny one time and then after that it's just okay. Or if it's if it does a really good job of trying to sell its product. Uh, I think one of the, the most clever and funny types of commercials are the Old Spice commercials. I mean, you've got the man your man can smell like. And then you've got Terry Crows! Uh, I mean, they're just, they're funny. They're funny, they're clever, and they make you want to buy Old Spice. Uh, they, they do their, their job very well. Now, there are some commercials that are just clever or just funny or just meant to sell you. Uh, I think truck commercials are probably one that, for the most part, don't get on my nerves when I watch them because they you know, they just talk about their truck. I think Chevy's probably the only one that really gets on my nerves, and I'll tell you why in a second, because uh, it is on my list of annoying types of commercials. And if you hear a loud noise, pressure washing going on outside, so just ignore that um, but yeah most like Ford commercials they just have that one guy talking and they've got the words like expanding out from each other everything he's saying I don't I don't mind it uh, it may get annoying if I hear it a lot in a couple days but for the most part it's it's there to sell it to me uh, I understand that Geico commercials not not the newer ones the newer ones are on on another list of bad commercials right now. I'm, I mean like the, the guy, could switching to Geico really save you 15% or more on car insurance? Does a wood check, check wood, check and wood. It's, those were funny. Those were really, really funny. Uh, so there, there are good commercials. And then there are some that are just, I don't really care. You know, like, like the Ford commercials, there are some that 
when I watch them, I can just watch them. I don't I have to, you know, there, there are some, obviously, <laughs> some food commercials that I just enjoy looking at the food and I don't really care what's going on around it. And there are some food commercials that really do get on my nerves, but I'll touch on that later. So there are some good commercials. There are some I don't really care commercials. I can watch them again and not get annoyed. So where do the bad commercials start? Well, for the first example, I'm going to go back to Chevy because their newest commercials are just really annoying to me. And here's why. First of all, they they bring these people into this building and every single time they start this commercial, real people, not actors. First of all, <laughs> so I can bring a real person in into this video right now and tell them what to say. They're not an actor, but they're still doing what I asked them to do. So it's not like you can't get real people in and be like, okay, so you're here to do a Chevy commercial? That okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I need you to act surprised. And then, and it's just, not, obviously that's a very, I guess that's a more personal thing. Like some, most people probably don't get annoyed by that. But it's the fact that not only do they say real people, not actors, when it could just be real people that are in on it, um, but they also they also have it happens a lot. Like every single other commercial, half the time seems to be a Chevy commercial, and the ideas are just so dumb. <laughs> like when you really think about the point of these commercials. One of them, he just he tosses an egg at him. He's like, it's hard to make this. It's hard to make decisions that fast, isn't it? Let me show you a truck that shows you what to do. And then they've got another one where he gives them a math problem. Do you think you can solve this? Okay, go ahead. Hit the timer for like two seconds. And just, you didn't say two seconds. Like the the ideas behind this are just so dumb. That I'm just every single time it comes on the TV, I'm like, oh, this commercial again. And maybe that's a personal thing. I don't know. But it just it seems like you've got better ways to sell your truck than to have these people come to a building, toss eggs at them, tell them, well, we got a truck that can make those fast decisions, like catching an egg that's flying at you that I didn't tell you was coming your way. So that. Those types of commercials where, first of all, they say that these are real people, not actors. <laughs> they're, they're still being filmed. They didn't ask why they were being filmed. And just having a dumb idea for your commercial, you know, tossing eggs at people and telling them that they don't think that fast. I, it's, there are a lot of dumb, dumb ideas like that out there. But then there are some that are funny once, and then after that it just gets annoying. Like if you see that commercial more than twice in one day, generally they get annoying. And I'm going to use the, the newer guy go commercials for this because they're funny at first. Except for there, there was one I can't even remember which one it was. But you've got the people who are they're just talking. Like, did you know da da da? Or did you know switching to Geico could save you 15 percent or more car insurance? Nah, everybody knows that. Well, did you know that blah 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 blah? And then they show it. And then they've got some that are like. If if you if you're a whatever, you do this. It's what you do. If, if you want to save money on car insurance, switch to Geico. It's what you do. And both of these commercials have had a couple funny ones. The one that really just was never funny, and then every time it came on, I'm like, oh gosh, the free range chicken. <laughs> if you're a free range chicken, you roam. That's what you do. I'm just. It's, it was so, it was overly long and annoying, and then they had a couple 
of the other one, like playing poker with Kenny Rogers gets old really fast. Well, listening to this commercial gets old really fast. It's just, you've got Kenny Rogers singing that song, and it's just like listening to a song more than a few times. It gets annoying after a while. And so every single time it came on, I'm just like, oh, I don't want to hear it again. I don't want to hear it again. Oh, no one no one <laughs> it's just there are several commercials like this where you watch it once it's interesting or it's funny but then after that it just it gets monotonous it gets every single time it comes on you're like I gotta sit through 30 seconds of this again and probably the best example if you're not a big TV watcher of this is YouTube because the they've got ads on YouTube Several of them just get really annoying <laughs> because you have to watch it to get to the video. And it's just like, I want to skip this ad. It's not a skippable ad. No! So, so that's, that's another example of the type of commercial I'm talking about and how it can get annoying really fast. And then you move on to a bit of the darker side of commercials. Starting with the random commercials. Now, I'm not talking about random as in like Old Spice random. I'm on a horse. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not talking about that type of random that's actually kind of funny random. And this is actually something I'm, I may do a video on later, talking about when it's random and when it's just dumb. Uh, because random can be done very well and very funny in the right way. Now I've seen a lot of commercials try to do the Old Spice thing which is always keep eye contact with the camera the whole time even though you're walking through a ton of stuff. Uh, I think there was a, a Razor commercial I'm pretty sure. It's been so long since I've seen it I can't really remember what it was about but there was a Razor commercial where the guy was like constantly looking at the camera walking through a bunch of stuff going on around him and it just wasn't as funny because one the guy was not that it's one thing to have like Bruce Campbell <laughs> looking at the camera the whole time and just talking randomly it's another thing to have this kind of weak looking little scrawny guy just looking at the camera talking in a kind of high higher pitch voice than than Bruce Campbell who you know he's just got such a distinctive voice it's nice to listen to them. Uh, so there's there's a big difference there in the person that you have. And on top of that, the stuff going on around him, it wasn't that interesting. Like in this one Old Spice commercial, you know, you got this guy who's just walking and looking at the camera the whole time. And he's just walking, hits a golf, you know, hits a golf ball, and he keeps walking and like, chops down a couple trees while he's still walking and just never changes his his forward motion at all. It's always one speed. And it, I, it was enjoyable to watch because on top of that, he's kind of an intimidating looking guy. So it makes sense to have him. And then the stuff he's doing is actually kind of funny. Whereas this guy was just like walking through stuff and not really doing anything, not really interacting with the environment, which tells you that Likely it was all just kind of CGI'd around him. You know, nothing was really involved with him. And obviously the stuff going on with the Old Spice guy was also CGI. But at least he was interacting with his environment to make it feel like he's actually doing this stuff. Uh, which is a problem with CGI right now in movies too. <laughs> when is it real and when is it not? Well, sometimes it looks so fake that you don't believe it at all. And so that's... That's the type of random stuff I'm talking about. When it's random, but it's not done well. When it's just random for the sake of being random. Just maybe we'll get a few laughs out of this. And then there is the, the type of commercial that I really don't like talking about because it's so bad that some people actually kind of enjoy it from time to time. And I'm just going to use the general commercials as an example. If you've seen the general commercials, you probably know what I'm talking about. 
it's the the awkward acting, the awkward pacing, the awkward everything, the awkward animation about it. Every single one of these commercials has been so awkward. There was one that there's this guy in a comedy club and he's doing stand up. He's just like, I got into a a head on fight with this with this truck the other day in my minivan. I lost. And everybody starts laughing. And I'm just like, that's that was it. He's joking about getting into a crash and they're laughing? And then he like starts but luckily with the general, I was at I'm like so now he's doing stand up talking about the and the way he acts it too is just so unnatural. Like there and he's he is the the best of it by far as far as acting cuz a lot of them like especially now they've got their the the little general helmets on now. And it just two people Oh, did you get your insurance with the general? I sure did. Well, come on. Let's go get more insurance with the general. And that's that's seriously how they act. Like, that is probably a better acting than what they do. Because it's so awkward. Like, it's like they pick these people and say, Here, read these lines. And it, it feels like it could be just a cold reading. Like they just, they, they have their scripts and they're looking at it and like, okay. And they say the lines and like, cut. Wait, you were filming that? Yeah. That was a cold, like that's the first time I've read the script. That's the first time I said the line. Yep, that's good. What? No, I wasn't even able to act. That's fine. We don't need you to. We're, just, we're the general. We just make commercials however we want. And... Like I said, I really don't like talking about these commercials because they're so dumb and just talking about them, it, it, it like gives meaning to their existence. It's like, oh yeah, he talked about the general commercials. That must mean they're, they're really something. But they're not. They're, they really are not. They, they suck out your brain energy. <laughs> they, they're just so dumb and cheesy and awkward that it really feels like why did you even put any any thought into this at all? Did you put any money into this at all into the animation? I mean, it's it's bad. The animation of the general and his little penguin sidekick. Why is it a penguin? They they have a couple commercials that's just them and they're doing football stuff. And it's just like why? And then they're doing baseball stuff. Why? And then I think they have even a soccer one. Why? It didn't make any sense, and it's always, like I said, awkward. The animation is terrible, so it's like they look like little block figures moving around. I was, like it looks like probably something you see on the PlayStation One, those type of graphics, uh, and it's really awkward. And I don't get the point of them at all. So, like I said, <laughs> that is the really dark side of commercials. But then I need to talk about some that I feel like are just becoming cliches now. Cuz if you think about like okay, I'm going to go I'm going to go watch a commercial about medicine. Generally you're going to get the same thing every single time. You've got people talking about it, you got people doing random stuff. And you've got some narrator that takes over and starts listing all the side effects and what to do talking to your doctor. That's it. Like, you, you've got some guy talking about uh, the this pill that helped him with his, uh, I don't know, back pain because he's old. You've got him hanging out with his family, laughing, talking, all that stuff. If you've got somebody talking about bladder infection got them laughing and talking and doing stuff if you got somebody talking about allergy medicine you got them laughing and talking and doing stuff literally carbon copies of each other every single it doesn't matter what the medicine is you always got the same formula for these commercials you've got people just doing stuff just talking laughing 
And some of you may be like, well, that's they're trying to show you take the pill. You're you're talking and laughing with everyone. But there's there's nothing in it. That like literally I could go outside right now and go to like the mall. I, I, I'll just go to the mall and take video of some people just kind of sitting and talking with each other or just take pictures of people or take videos of people walking by talking to each other and I'd have a medicine commercial like all I'd have to do is just talk about the medicine in the background watching these people you know sit and talk laugh, laugh walk and talk laugh and that's it that's all a medicine commercial is now and it's <laughs> Even when they're listing the side effects, you know, diarrhea, bladder pain, uh, possible death, and you got people just still t talking and laughing, and they're talking about the side effects, and it just doesn't fit at all, and something needs to be done, because the only, the few medicine commercials that have gone off <laughs> from the you know, have gone off from the formula of just looking at people doing this stuff. I'm taking it in a really weird way. Some of them make your organs come to life. Like the, the one that talks about your intestine, I think. It's got like a little, like your small intestine just sitting there. Like it looks all weird. It's got a little smiley face. Then you got the one that uh, talking about your bladder. And it's, you, they've actually got a bladder on screen, a little animated bladder, saying, you know, don't let it take control. I just like this is this is awkward. And then on top of that, probably the weirdest medicine commercial of all time. And it's not really a medicine commercial, but it's still like a. It's got the same formula, just people talking and laughing. But. If you've seen this commercial before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you agree with me on how weird this is, I don't even have to say anything. Like, love your laxative. That's it. If you've seen the commercial, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and I don't need to say anything else. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a commercial about a laxative. And saying, if you love your laxative, your laxative will love you back. No joke. No exaggeration. Word for word quote from this commercial. It's got people holding coffee mugs. I love my lax. Wearing t-shirts. I love my lax. Got place uh, doormats. I love my lax. I I'm surprised they didn't just... Somebody buys a blimp. I love my lax and flies it in the air. Smiling, I'm just. You're. This is a laxative, people. This is. This is not like. You know. <laughs> this is not like some incredible product that will change your life. This is a laxative. Do you? Do you? Does this not comprehend in your mind that you're talking about a laxative in a way that makes it sound like it's your pet? Like. Oh yeah, I love my laxative. We've had them for three years now. Three years. Have you ever used it? Nah, but I love it. Then why'd you buy it? Because I love my laxative. <laughs> Let's just take a step back. You got issues. <sighs> that one is just, that one takes the cake for me. Like it just goes above and beyond. Any of the awkward general commercials, any of the formulistic medicine commercials, it just, I love my laxative. That's good for you. You need to go get mental help right now. So, in all of this, what's the message? I think you really gotta look at why commercials exist. They exist to sell you a product in whatever way possible. They invent little jingles, they, you know, they invent catchphrases, what's in your wallet, are you in good hands, they, they invent anything that they possibly can 
to get you to buy. The problem that they have is, and this is this is something that every single person in my family, whenever I make fun of commercials, whenever I talk bad about commercials, they they have the same excuse every time. Well, they got you to remember it, didn't they? That's not the point. And here's here's where the main frustration and the main problem with commercials comes in. They think if they can get you to remember their commercials, they've done their job. That's not true. It's they they do get me to remember it. I will always remember those those dumb general commercials. I will always remember that laxative commercial. I'll probably even remember that one, you know, the, the couple awkward like what what's auto something commercials with the awkward animation. I think. I think it's auto trade or something like that. But, you know, I I'll always remember them, but that doesn't make me want to buy it. Watching an old spice commercial, it's fun. It's it's funny. It's inventive. It's got Terry Crews on it flexing his pecs. Those are fun. I, I can enjoy that. I can watch it again and laugh and laugh and laugh. I'll laugh 20 times later. I want to buy Old Spice. It, it really, it's stuck with me. If I see a bad commercial, I don't want to buy that stuff. I mean, look at their commercial. If it's got, if it's that dumb, why would I want to go? And that's, even even audio commercials on, on the radio. Like, there are a lot of them that, the same old, same old tune in the background. You got same old words being said, and some of them, in fact, the acting on radio commercials probably worse than on TV, and that makes it even worse because all you have to do is just talk. But a lot of them, a lot of them talk like this, and really, I didn't know that. And yeah, why don't we go right now? I've got a coupon that their voices are all you hear. All you have to do is make your voice sound good. You don't even have to move your face. You don't have to put any effort into that and you still make it sound stupid. If it sounds if it sounds rehearsed to me, I'm just like I can't listen to this. And I know that's weird because well yeah, it's rehearsed. Of course it's rehearsed. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. I want it to sound like these are if you're not going to make it sound like these are actual people talking, make fun of it. If you know that these... If you're trying to make them sound like they're obviously not in a real conversation, then fine. Go all out. Don't hold back. Don't, you know, make it sarcastic. I don't care. But these people... Or these companies are actually making these audio commercials where they're, they're very clearly trying to make it sound serious, they're trying to make it sound like two people are having a conversation about this and yet every single time it's the same old stuff, the same old awkward sounding voices, the same old oh really? and I don't get it and once again it, it comes down to the fact of well you'll probably remember that, I don't care and am I the only one that feels this way? probably not there are probably several people out there who think the same thing that, you know, if you're going to sell it to me, make it a good commercial. Don't just try to make it to where I'll remember it. And probably probably the best example that I can think of. I know I already talked about Old Spice and how that, but the best example I can think of right now of trying to sell me the product without just hoping I'll remember it, the, the, uh, What's the name of that phone? Now I forget. The V10, I think it was. And I know you've seen this commercial before. And it's just... Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum. You know exactly what I'm talking about. you got Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And he's taking a video. You know, he takes a sip of water. He starts doing this little beat. And then all of a sudden, these other people who are also recording themselves start adding you know more to it. And then all of a sudden, it becomes like several people doing it. And then, you know, kind of goes back down to just Joseph Gordon Levitt and you know it, it shows the phone. Now you may say, well isn't that just you know they're trying to make a little beep so you'll remember it? Well yes. 
but it's not I'm not remembering it in a bad way like it's catchy and it is kind of clever how they're using the phone and they're taking pictures and honestly most cell phone commercials now are just let's well that's more cell phone providers cell phone commercials are generally just talking about the phone you know like you've got the the turbo 2 commercial where they're just like they didn't think that a phone could do this well it does they didn't think a phone could do this well it does joy turbo 2 and then you've got another one where they're just like you know they they do the typical i'm gonna drop it oh look it didn't crack i'm gonna drop it in this oh look it didn't get wet oh i'm gonna drop it in this oh look it didn't do this this is like it, it's catchy so i'll remember the tune and you've got these people who are actually shooting on the phone. You know, they're shooting all these videos on their phone, and it looks really nice. And I'm just like, that's that's how you sell something. If you're going to make it to where people remember it, at least do it in a way that makes me remember it in a good way. Because most of these commercials that I'm talking to you about, I'm not going to remember in a good way. I'm really not. Chevy... I probably will never ever like those Chevy commercials, and I don't think I'm I'm not I'm not really a truck person, but I really don't ever see myself getting a Chevy. Ford, now maybe eh, you know, they're okay. Ram, eh, okay. But I mean, think about Old Spice. I I see those commercials and I'm just like, yeah, I want some Old Spice. And I I don't know why I haven't talked about this yet. Food commercials. Food commercials, most of them are the same stuff. They do something to get it in your head. You know what? Every single time I see an Olive Garden commercial, I'm all of a sudden craving pasta. Every single time I see a, a Little Caesars commercial or a Pizza Hut commercial, I'm like, I want some pizza. In fact, I really do want some pizza right now. And it's because those commercials not only stick in your mind, whatever they're doing, you know, looking at looking at the pasta that sticks in your mind, looking at the pizza that sticks in your mind, but they're going beyond just let's give them something to remember. They're actually doing it in a clever way that makes you want the product, and so that's that's what's got to change in these commercials. They've got to go beyond just let's give them a commercial they remember, because you think about Geico. Geico always has always had these little clever commercials but they're also selling their product very well you know 15 15 percent or 15 minutes can save you 15 percent or more on car insurance i'll always remember that and that's a good selling tool progressive you've got flow and most of the time now i'm remembering more whatever weird joke that she said or now now she started like <laughs> she's become kind of a <clears throat> for the for the sake of all the the kids watching, she's become a female dog. If you don't know what that means, good, stay innocent. See, too many like preteens already <laughs> already letting loose. Anyway, it's not that's not this video. What's this, what's about? But there's that one commercial recently where like this woman's on hold and this song is on. She comes up and starts saying the words. And then the second time she says the words, you know, it ends with say goodbye. And the lady goes, say goodbye. She's like, oh, no, now you made it weird. Walks away. I remember that now. Like, I hardly remember what she says about progressive anymore because what she says later or all that stuff, the, the one where she's set back in, like, old times where women didn't have as many rights and the guy's, like, talking about how, you know, she could be a good housewife. And she's like, is this guy for real? I'm like, you're back in time. You went, you'd set this back in time. Anyway, like I said, I don't remember what she said about Progressive because they take away from Progressive to make room for Flo. And honestly, she's not funny anymore. They they had a few funny ones with her at first, but now it's just, it's just gotten monotonous. It's just gotten too much. And they're not even selling the product anymore. They're just... They just put flow on the screen, thinking, "Oh, if they if they see flow, they'll remember progressive." But no, I remember flow, and I remember how annoying she is, and I remember 
the really crappy things she said to to people that episode or that commercial. So, like I said, there. If you're gonna make a good selling tool, make a good selling tool, but make sure you're actually selling. Make sure you're not just putting it out there, hoping it'll be remembered, because that's where you go. That's where most commercials go wrong. They put something out there, hoping that they'll that people will remember it, and forget to actually try to sell it. And that's that's probably the. It's funny because it's actually the uh, the opposite for medicine commercials. They put them out there hoping they won't be remembered, <laughs> but they actually do sell their product. They sell it, but don't make it a commercial. They just they talk about it. And it's, it's not... Obviously, it is a commercial, but if you think about Geico and Old Spice, they've got something that makes you remember it. With these medicine commercials, they're all the same, so I don't really remember the medicine commercials. It's just like, you remember that one commercial where they had the people and they were talking and laughing with each other? I remember like 10, 15 commercials like that in the past two days. So make it memorable. That is obviously part of it, but also make it a good selling tool. Make it something that's going to be remembered for the right reasons, not be remembered for all the wrong reasons. Because then people don't want to buy your product. Now, it's not all these companies' faults. And this is this is probably going to be the last thing I, I talk about, so stick around another couple minutes and I swear I'll be done. Because they would not keep making these commercials if they didn't think it was worth it. And I think that's, if you really think about it, this is the problem with a lot of people nowadays, especially, I mean, even in politics. I mean, you think about Donald Trump right now and Hillary Clinton, they're actually still running candidates, and everybody's talking about them, but there is an actual following for both of them. That's, that's really sad. That is really sad. There are so Donald Trump is like the bottom of the barrel. Hillary Clinton is under the barrel. Seriously. Why are we even talking about this? I mean, come on. <laughs> anyway. So there would but they would not be in the running at all if there were not people who actually supported them. You know, think about it. Like it's it's kind of like if there's a product and it doesn't do well, it gets taken off. You know, I I think about the uh, you know some some of the the soda products. Some of them last for a little while, and you've got some like cherry coke, vanilla coke. But then there are some that don't. They they you see them and you're just like, what? And then they kind of disappear. You think about movies. Movies that are really good stay in the theaters for several weeks. Movies that are really bad, maybe a week and a half. Because they don't want to waste money showing a movie that's not getting watched. Same thing for these commercials. They're not going to waste money on commercials that they know aren't being watched and aren't reaching an audience. Now, obviously, if you watch TV, you're going to see these commercials. But it's whenever people are talking about it, whenever they make them popular, whenever they get a lot of views on YouTube, that's when the... The companies are like, hey, they kind of like that random crap. Let's put out more random crap and make it more random and more crappy. And that's what leads to worse commercials. That's what leads to these commercials that just absolutely are the worst of the worst. Talking about the general and awkward acting. Well, they wouldn't keep making these dumb general commercials if they didn't think it was working. So... Some people somewhere are actually enjoying these commercials, are actually buying general insurance because of these commercials. That's got to stop. We've, we've got to be smarter as a... I mean, as, as people, this, our country is kind of built on consumerism. <laughs> so we've got to be smarter about how we handle this or else we're going to be stuck with no Old Spice commercials, no Geico commercials. All general insurance commercials, and maybe a love your laxative commercial in there somewhere. 
So that's my spiel on commercials. Obviously, this is my opinion. And this show is here for me to spout my opinion and tell you why you're wrong. No, I'm just kidding. This, is, this show is here for you to leave your comments down below. We can discuss it. I probably will tell you you're wrong eventually, but just know that you are wrong. So this has been the Brock Talk Show. Leave your comments down below. I'll see you next time. Peace out.